So I decided not to film uh, the other side of the, uh, of the kiln over here, the other door, because I've got footage of doing this side and I figure I didn't want to bore anybody uh, with doing it all over again. Uh, but now, as you can see, it's uh, starting to take shape pretty good. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on this back wall. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, there's going to be right in the very center of the kiln right here. There's going to be an additional wall which will give me two chambers and each of those chambers is going to have uh, two fans from the back uh, blowing, the, blowing the air down through the stack of wood and that will just give me some more versatility that way I don't have to run the entire kiln if I only have a small amount of lumber. Um, so I think that's what I'm probably going to do and I'll have like a personnel door in the back right here uh, for quick entry and, uh, and we'll just go from there and see what happens. I think you're supposed to construct the entire wall like at the front one. And, uh, and then raise it as a unit. But I'm going to do it this way. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but Sam's got him a rabbit.
So I'm just going to do a quick walk around here. I haven't do, been doing a ton of video and for this back wall and uh, the work tends to go a lot faster when I don't video but you know I want to share it with y'all but uh, here it is the uh, framing is pretty well done I've got to put a uh, I'll put a stud wall in the uh, very center so that I'll have two separate chambers for two different stacks of lumber but that'll probably be done uh, after I get the outer, uh, outside boards up so right now I think what I'm about to do is go ahead and get on the mill and cut up some trees to make uh, siding out of it. I'm going to do lap board siding on it. I uh, considered board and batten, but I really like the way lap board looks. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do that and we'll just we'll just see what happens. But but here it is. Here it is so far. That back stud wall is uh, I just got it completed and. Uh, yeah, this is exciting it looks like a kiln it's starting to look more and more like like what i want it to look like and we're not too far away from dried lumber and i explained this in one of my other videos but for anybody who's just now uh, starting to follow this project it looks kind of weird because the foundation is much larger than the kiln as you can see uh, as you can see right there and the reason for that is i made the foundation way too big and I was it was my plan originally to go ahead and make the uh, to make the rest of the kiln that big as well but I eventually decided that that would have just been way too much that rear wall would have been in the area of about 12 feet high which is just which is just outrageous so and the capacity of the kiln would have been just and the capacity of the kiln would have been way more than was necessary so uh, here it is, what we've got so far, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting some boards, uh, cutting some trees up and making some siding for it, and, um, and we'll see what happens. Part. This is the part in your work day where you put a big saw mark in your bed of your sawmill and get upset by it. So if y'all would like to witness that, stay tuned.
I really appreciate y'all's comments. The overwhelming majority, in fact, if not all, of comments for this project have been positive, and it's been a lot of fun to read y'all's comments, so keep them coming. So that pretty well wraps up the framing of this kiln. What I have left to do now is put the siding onto it, and you can see I've already got some of that done, not very much, uh, but some, and after that I'll probably go ahead and put the partition in the middle, and I've got the uh, greenhouse film coming as well, so we'll be able to cover it up pretty soon also. But it's really taken shape. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I certainly don't pretend to be a carpenter, so if you see anything that you think I could be doing better that would make my life easier and maybe make the results a little bit better, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm always up for uh, some constructive criticism. Uh, one thing I'd like to think uh, several people actually um, suggested this. I'd like to thank y'all for this. Uh, taking the nails and flipping them over and blunting the tip before you drive them into the board on the ends has worked very well. Uh, it essentially allows the nail to crush through the board instead of split through the board like an axe and it cuts down uh, immensely on the amount of split ends on those boards. Uh, so thanks to whoever commented on that. It was several different people. I really appreciate that. I keep the comments coming. Like I said, I really enjoy reading those and I really appreciate everybody watching these videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and again thank you for watching